For 85 years, it was a distant speck in the night sky. An enigmatic world at the edge of the solar system, shrouded in mystery. For much of that time, it stood as the ninth major planet. But in 2006, as we all know, Pluto was demoted to dwarf planet status, sparking one of the most debated decisions in modern astronomy. Yet before all of this celestial controversy, in 1978, another pinnacle moment in Pluto's history unfolded. A discovery was made. Pluto had a companion. It had a moon. But this was no ordinary moon, because it was so large that together they move around a common centre of gravity. More like a double planet than a planet and a moon. This is Pluto's hidden twin, Charon. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made the nearly 5 billion kilometre journey to this distant outpost of the solar system, it captured spectacular close-up images of both worlds. So let's take a look at the closest images we have ever captured of Charon, the least known of this incredible cosmic double act. You're watching V101 Space. My name's Rob, and if you enjoy diving into the wonders of space, don't forget to tap the subscribe button for much more to come. On July 14th, 2015, New Horizons was hurtling through space at 58,000 kilometers per hour. A decade of waiting and history was about to be made. New Horizons, silent and alone, was about to pass the Pluto system. It had just one chance to capture as many images as possible. There were no second attempts and no opportunities to slow down. Back on Earth, scientists and engineers gathered around a flickering screen after waiting 4 hours and 25 minutes for the signal to come in. Then the moment arrived, the first close-up image of Pluto in all its glory. Not long after, and the first views of Charon then arrived. No longer just a shadowy companion, but a rugged, fully fleshed out world of its own. In that moment, astronomers knew Pluto may have lost its status as the ninth planet, but what they had just seen made it one of the most unique and breathtaking places in the solar system. After a nine and a half year journey, you may be surprised to discover that New Horizons only observed the Pluto system at its closest approach for a few minutes. However, before this historic yet brief flyby, Images of Charon merely revealed a speck lurking at the edge of Pluto. This image is how Charon was discovered in 1978. The black spot in the middle is Pluto, but if I then add another image over the top of it, you will see the spot elongates. That is Charon. In the 90s, the Hubble Space Telescope was able to separate the two worlds with better images, but the fleeting visit of New Horizons was the only time that we got to see up close how truly fascinating Charon is. As we observe Charon in this stunning image, taken from around 74,000 kilometers away, the most obvious feature is the dark red cap that sits on its north pole a feature not seen on any other moon or planet in this way in the solar system. While many bodies in the solar system have stained coloured surfaces, Charon's is very dark, which is why this region was aptly named Mordor Macula, after the black lands of Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. You may have noticed that Mordor Macula resembles the red stained areas of Pluto. While it turns out that methane in Pluto's atmosphere is leaking away into space, 
And because Charon orbits very close to Pluto in their unusual cosmic dance, the escaping methane falls onto parts of its surface. Solar radiation then alters the methane, turning it into a reddish compound called tholins, linking the two worlds as if Pluto is attempting to paint its largest companion. Another striking feature is that enormous chasm that stretches along Charon's equator. This gigantic system of canyons runs more than 1,600 kilometers across the entire face of Charon, and likely onto the other side we can't see. It is about four times as long as the Grand Canyon here on Earth, and twice as deep in some places. But what caused these titanic fractures? It turns out that the best explanation is that Charon likely once concealed a slushy subsurface ocean. However, unlike Pluto, which is thought to still have its internal ocean today, Charon's froze solid, expanded and caused these massive stress lines in the icy external shell, creating a vast network of towering cliffs and deep valleys. Have you ever wished you could turn the time spent doom scrolling into something genuinely valuable? Today's sponsor, Imprint, is a fresh and engaging way to build powerful habits using your phone. I wanted to share two courses that are having a big impact on me. I've personally been using Imprint's Science of Happiness course, and it's transformed my daily routine. In just a few minutes each day, I've discovered practical strategies backed by research to enhance my mood, resilience, and overall well-being. Imprint's beautifully illustrated and interactive lessons make learning feel effortless, helping you truly retain information. I've also decided to brush up on my financial knowledge, so if financial confidence is what you're seeking, Imprint's finance courses simplify essential topics like investing, budgeting and wealth building in a way that's visual, clear and easy to understand. You'll be amazed how quickly you start feeling more in control of your financial future. Imprint is designed based on the science of effective learning. Combining bite-sized lessons, engaging visuals, and thoughtful repetition to help you actually master new skills. Imagine mastering essential topics in psychology or philosophy, history or finance, leadership or business, health or science, plus so much more. Imprint makes it all possible. Join me and millions of learners who've replaced mindless doom scrolling with meaningful growth. Click the link in the description to start your free 7-day trial and receive 20% off your annual membership today. But Sharon's dramatic landscapes don't end with this belt-like chasm. While its equatorial canyon system tells a tale of violent upheaval, a striking contrast emerges between the north and the south. Each region appears to have two faces. The north, a more battered, ancient landscape. The south, a smooth, almost wiped clean landscape. It is thought that this stark difference is the result of cryovolcanism, a process in which icy, molten material once erupted from Sharon's interior and resurfaced parts of the moon. This resurfacing likely occurred when Charon's internal ocean froze completely, causing fractures in the crust that allowed water-rich slurries to flow across the landscape before solidifying into smooth plains. The relatively young age of these plains, geologically speaking, suggests that Charon remained active for longer than expected, reshaping its surface long after its formation. In contrast, the more heavily cratered northern regions are thought to be far more ancient, preserving a record of Sharon's earliest history. If we take an even closer look at the southern hemisphere, we also find these peculiar features. 
Scattered across its surface are bizarre geological formations, towering mountains seemingly adrift in shallow depressions, as if they are floating in a frozen sea. These so-called mountains in moats are unlike anything seen elsewhere in the solar system. One of the most striking examples is Kubrick Mons, a massive blocky peak rising nearly four kilometers above the surrounding plains, encircled by a shallow, sunken trench. It is suspected that these formations could be the remnants of ancient cryovolcanoes, where slush-like material once oozed from beneath the surface and then refroze. Back in the equatorial belt-like chasm found on Sharon, evidence of immense geological shifts can be seen in another remarkable phenomenon. Some of the most extreme landslides ever seen in the solar system. Entire sections of the moon's rugged cliffs have collapsed in colossal landslides, their debris stretching for many kilometers in some cases. These enormous movements of ice, far larger than anything seen on Earth, are thought to have been triggered by tectonic fracturing. The presence of such massive landslides suggests that once again, at some point in its history, Sharon's surface was not as rigid and frozen as it appears today. Instead, it was a world in motion, its icy crust shifting, cracking, and at times crumbling under its own Wait. Though often overshadowed by its more famous companion, Pluto, Sharon has proven to be a world full of surprises. A frozen landscape marked by vast chasms, tectonic stretch marks, towering mountains adrift in icy moats, red stained landscapes, and landslides on a scale unseen anywhere on Earth. It may lack Pluto's dynamic atmosphere and exotic surface chemistry, but Charon tells a different kind of story. One of ancient upheaval, violent geological shifts, and the lingering mystery of a moon that was far more active than anyone expected. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then remember to like and subscribe for much more to come. And if you would like to support my channel even further then why not buy me a coffee? A small donation goes a long way and helps me improve what I am attempting to build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.